In the sixth game of our second season, I went up against the Chicago Bulls and Derrick Rose was available to play. No, he wasn't injured. No, he didn't get poked in the eye. No, he didn't have pink eye. No, he didn't twist his ankle. No, he didn't tear anything. He was actually here to play ball. So, me and Derrick Rose went at it mostly all of the game, except for when Kurt Heinrich was in. Now, when Kirk was in, I was putting up numbers. I was doing bad things to this man, especially windmill dunks out on a fast break. Yeah, I was getting cookies. Yeah, it was cool and all, but I wanted D-Rose to get back in the game. Now, leading up into the second half, me and Derrick Rose did much of the same, you know, a little bit of seesaw, even though the score didn't represent that, me and him just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, his pick and rolls led to jump shots, while my pick and rolls led to posterizers. That's what I was doing out here in Chicago, in Chicago. Now, just to let you guys know, we did win this game, but that wasn't the most important thing about this. Actually, in Chicago, Pharrell Williams was at the game watching. Yeah, he was watching me. He had his eye on me. And he had a few things that he wanted to say to me after the game was over. But before we get into that, I want to show you guys the last play of this gameplay, which is a beautiful alley-oop to my man. Hold on. We got to watch this replay. We got to watch this replay. Timmy. <laughs> Hey, for real, what up, man? What up, man? Hey, I really dig your stuff, man. Much love and respect. Likewise, you really been tearing it up lately, making a name for yourself. Caught my attention for sure. Consider me a oh, fan. Oh, thanks, man. But, you know, I just got to keep working, for real. That's it. Work and work and work some more. Do it long enough, you can make anything happen. Yeah, that's right, man. Well, I really appreciate you coming to the game, man. You know Maybe it. we'll catch up. Hey, you ever need anything, let me know. Say word, man. Appreciate you. Just wanted to say I really like the way you've been playing on the offensive end. Great game tonight. Hey, thanks, Coach. I really feel like I've been able to step up my game a lot lately. I know how hard you've been working. Keep it up. Just don't forget the other side of the ball, okay? Oh, uh, don't worry, Coach. I won't forget. I got you. All right, after that down-to-earth talk with Doc Rivers, it's time for us to play our eighth game in the second season against the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Love are all in attendance, so it's going to be a hard game, harsh game, and I hope we come out to get this win. Now, what I want to let you guys know is Cleveland is awesome. I played them last year as the Dallas Mavericks, and we didn't have a chance, but this time I have New York in my corner, and Melo sets a nice pick as I get that layup. Now, I will tell you this. Kyrie Irving and LeBron James show off a lot, and they kind of sync up nicely. LeBron James throws assists to Kyrie. Kyrie throws assists to LeBron. But me, it's all about this isolation game. Now, I try to play things sweet and try to get past Kyrie, but they don't work. So I decided to pass it off to my man Stoudemire and check out this nice pass. This is what happens when I go up against the computer. Anybody ever notice when... They pass it back and you kind of lunge a little bit for the steal and you miss and they blow right by you. That was the first time I've seen that animation happen in my favor. Oh, by the way, I did get that in one. So uh going to show you guys this little free throw here. I told you guys I switched it up to Steph Curry. He gives a little shake too, you know. Uh, KD used to get a shoulder shrug. Steph, he gives you that little arm shake, you know, so I still like it. But check out this play right here, man. As soon as Kyrie gets the ball, he takes off, but he misses. Now, this is a four-on-two situation, but only three of us are running. So I decided to pass it off to my man, Anthony, because I didn't want a chance to steal by throwing it in the paint or throwing a weird bounce pass. But it's 20 seconds left on the clock. I thought, I swear to God, I thought that we had this game in the bag. Now, with 20 seconds left, you have Kyrie Irving, LeBron James, or Kevin Love, either one of them can get the ball and put up two to three points. That's what makes it so bad. Three guys on their team are all shooters. Like, anything could happen. So I'm guarding Kyrie, thinking that I got the lock and key. And I'm like, hey, you know what? I could just, you know, chill, let my man Melo get the nice little half-court offense. They kick it back to Kyrie and check out what happens here. We call the double team, and he blows right by the double team for the mid-range jump shot. That right there ended my life. You don't understand how pissed I was. I, I was ready to just throw everything away there. I don't know what happened, guys. I can tell you right now that I tried my best, 
but it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to work out. But guess what? I will get my payback on somebody. Let's check out the next game. Believe me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, leading up into the ninth game of the season, I'm going up against Golden State, but I don't have any Mavericks on my team. I'm bringing the Knicks at home, and we ready to beat the dog shit out of Golden State. I'm still a little mad, man. You know, we won the first game in the playoffs against Golden State, but when we came <laughs> game two, game three, game four, game five, we got sweat. It was so bad, so I'm giving a little bit of payback here. Now, this isn't a big win. It's not even a double-digit win, but a win is a win, and it feels good because this right here could be potential NBA Finals. You just you never know. You never know in the NBA, man. So many teams are so good that you won't know what will happen. Now, all I have to do right here is just chill for 6.1 seconds, and we're going to come out with this win. But um, I do want to show you guys the player of the game highlights so you can kind of see how the game went. How I played, how I fared. And uh, also, I do want to talk to Doris Burke. So, we're going to run that before the player of the game highlights. But I'll be talking to you guys while the highlights run. Just to let you guys know about what's coming next. Let's get it. Doris? You put on what was simply an incredible fourth period. How were you able to take over this game in the end? Yo, Doors, you know I'm always able to take over. Come on. Sometimes I even have to wait around and lay low for a few quarters. Just so things are a little more dramatic in the fourth, you feel me? Yo, I know drama, and I like to keep it fun for the fans. That's just me, baby. It was a pleasure for us to watch. Thank you so much, Kevin. All right, so the biggest question in everyone's mind is, what's the concept of this video? We've been here for about seven minutes, and we still don't understand what's going on. Is he putting together multiple gameplays? Is he trying to speed through the season? Is he trying to get this footage off of his hard drive because it's taking up so much space? Well, what I want to let you guys know is that I've actually got the Gatorade endorsement. And this is the storyline for that. Now, I didn't just want to put out the clips and all you guys just see, oh, yeah, he was in his apartment playing the video games and somebody bring him a Gatorade deal. Nah, I wanted to show you guys what happened leading up to that. I had some great performances, even though I didn't win them all, you know, I still put up good numbers and I showed that I could put my team on our and on my back and also showed that I'm pretty good in the open court, you know, and also my jump shot is getting there. Like I, I can't stress how much happiness I'm having right now by actually hitting jump shots. That was my main thing for 2K15. I thought that hitting jump shots was nearly impossible you know i played so much part i played so many of my career games where slightly earlies would happen very early very late and they would just bong 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 i was building a brick house but now i'm feeling good let's get into this first cutscene, y'all we were firing all yeah, cylinders man, tonight, like baby. mine when the team gets there Food hey, the tech's better. gonna look a little bigger. Now we're celebrating the what? If you don't mind chilling with a young fellow like me. Man, let's do it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying the next good decision he makes for the team will be the first. Yeah, I hear you. I'll talk to you soon. I'm sorry about that. I'm talking to a, another one of my clients. So I needed to see you because um, we have a problem. Yeah, what's that? Tell me. Man, what is it? Both Gatorade and Sprite want you as their next featured athlete. Whoo! <laughs> what? That's awesome, right? Well, yes and no. They're both offering good money and perks. But you gotta pick one or the other. I mean, they both want an exclusive. You know, public appearances, out wearing the gear in public, selling the brand. So it's one or the other, huh? There may be smaller opportunities down the road with whoever you don't pick, but the big decision comes right now. So what do you think? Gatorade or Sprite? 
Well, like I've already told you guys, um, I did go with Gatorade. Now, I put this out over Twitter when it first happened. I, I was asking people which endorsement was better, Gatorade or Sprite. Now, having the Sprite endorsement, I'm, I wasn't sure if you know you can actually get the posterizer badge after accepting it. But after everybody was tweeting me and telling me what was going on, I decided to go with Gatorade, man. They're a great brand. And plus, we drink it all game. Why not? I think I'm going with Gatorade, man. <laughs> legendary brand with legendary athletes associated with it. Not to mention legendary agents making all those dreams come true. What, no love for your 10 percenter? Fine, fine. Oh, and um, before I forget, there's just one small contingency. How do I figure this is going to be anything but small? Oh, don't worry. This is going to be easy. They just want to make sure that if your star is truly rising, that you have as big an audience as possible. So all you have to do is pick up one million new fans on social media in the next 10 days, you know, to show them you mean business, and uh, that's it. Then the deal's locked in. Piece of cake. Hold on, wait. A million? Now, one thing was very funny here. They wanted me to get a million fans, but I already had a million fans. So I still asked Pharrell for a million fans, which you can do if you haven't met this part of your, my career. I called you in here for a reason. Yeah, what's up, coach? I want to talk to you a little bit about one of my coaching philosophies, something that's become very important to me over the years. I'm all ears. Basketball is not boxing. It's a team sport. It's about learning to put your own needs aside, to focus on what's best for the team. When we succeed, we all do it together. When one person is down, we're all down. Oh, you talking about Ubuntu. I've been hearing about that for years. I'm all about that. Good. With your role here, I think it's really important for you to embrace this too and for you to help your teammates do the same. Of course, Coach. Man, it's about the team. It's not about personal accolades or recognition and stats. It's really about winning. Exactly. Glad to hear you're on board. Just keep thinking along those lines and it will make a difference to the team. Hey, Coach, I'm with it, all right? I appreciate the talk. Now, after that little talk with the coach, a few games had went by, and I still didn't hear anything from my agent. I was thinking, did the coach blackball me in this Gatorade deal? But being the serious person that I am, I just was like, you know what, I'm going to play a few games and see what happens. So in the 11th game against the Houston Rockets, I got a little bit of life. You know, I got a little call from my agent, and he told me to meet him after the game. And I said, you know what, that's all good with me. So just showing you guys, uh, the score is currently 96 to 89. Um, the difficulty is insane because I have to score 57 points and 10 assists in order to only win by not even 10 points. It, it, sometimes it just doesn't make sense to me, but it's okay, man. You know, it's the things we deal with. Now, uh, what I want to let you guys know is I did change a few things with my players, such as his attire, um, but I didn't go away from the whole bubble vest gimmick. So uh, I'm still going to be wearing a little bit of bubble joint. Um, as well as, I want to show you guys the player, the game highlights of this game. So you can kind of get a feel of what I did this game. You know, one clip isn't going to show it all. So I'm going to run the player, the game highlights. And Howard is kind of pissed that we won this game. But that's what I do.
that's exactly what I'm saying. The food is terrible and the atmosphere is even worse. I'm never coming back. <sighs> Moms. You talk to your mom like that? Ah, she's a tough old broad. She'll get over it. So we did it. One million new fans. See, I told you, piece of cake. No, we didn't do anything. Luckily, I got my man Pharrell to come and help out. Otherwise, it wouldn't have happened. All that matters is the deal is done. I knew you'd figure something out. Man, whatever, yo. I'm about to get back to this game. I'll holler at you later. No gratitude for the man who orchestrated the whole thing, huh? Tell you like this, next time don't pull no surprises like that, and you promised me a shark tank. I don't see no sharks up in here. Yeah, sharks. Fine. At least we're getting deals done. More than most players can say. Being the best is hard work. You need something to keep your body operating at peak performance. Whether it's energy to fuel your effort, hydration to replace what's lost, or recovery to start the rebuilding process after pushing yourself to the limit, Gatorade will help you go the distance.